how to fix error code 10 insufficient system resources exist to complete the API in Windows 11. Hello friends, follow the steps. The first step is clean install the latest driver version. The issue usually occurs due to outdated or incompatible NVIDIA or AMD GPU driver whichever is installed. So clean install of the concerned driver can help you fix the error code 10. Follow the steps. Check which graphic card is installed on your system. Right click on start. Select device manager. Expand display adapters by clicking on this arrow. On my computer AMD Redon TM graphics is installed. Once checked minimize the device manager and go to the description of this video. I will go to the AMD graphics link. Click on the AMD graphics link from the description. You will reach this page. Click on download windows drivers. Once downloaded click on the file explorer icon. Go to downloads. Right click on this uh, driver and select open. Click on yes on USC pop up. Let the software scan. Click on additional options. Check the box before factory reset optional. This will clean install the driver and click on install. At last click on restart to complete the installation. If Nvidia driver is installed on your computer then go to this link from the description. You will reach this page. Select correct options in the drop down. If you find difficulty in finding the details of your graphics driver then click on search, type system information, click on system information, expand components by clicking on the plus icon, select display. Here you will find the details of the graphics card. This is a adapter description. Minimize the system information. Click on the options and select. After selecting the options, click on find. Once found, click on view, then click on download. After downloading is completed, click on the driver. Select yes, click on OK. Checking system compatibility. On the next screen, click on agree and continue. Then check the custom advanced options and click on next. Now check the option perform a clean installation and click on next. At last, click on restart now to complete the installation. If the issue still persists, do a clean boot. Click on search. Type msconfig. Click on system configuration. Go to the services tab. Check the option hide all Microsoft services. And click on disable all. Then go to the startup tab. Click on the link open task manager. 
make sure that all the startup program are disabled. If anyone is enabled, click on this and select disable. Using this method, disable all the programs and close the task manager. Click on apply and click on OK. A pop up will appear. Click on restart. Repair corrupted system files. Click on search. Type CMD. Select run as administrator. Click on yes. These commands are given in the description. To run system files checker command, copy the command from the description, paste into the command prompt, and hit enter. Wait for a while until the process is completed. Copy the check health command of DISM tools. Paste into the command prompt and press enter. Copy the scan health command. Paste into the command prompt. Press enter. Then copy the last command, paste it to the command prompt and hit enter. After running all the commands, close the command prompt and close other running tasks, then restart your computer. Reset Windows, click on Start, click on Settings, select System, click on Recovery. In the Reset This PC section, click on Reset PC. Make sure to move all your personal files to another drive, then click on Remove Everything. Click on local reinstall, select next, then click on reset. That's all friends, thanks for watching the video.